how did I propose? Okay, he proposed to me online, like we're separated by long distance. Yeah. And you won't imagine the day he proposed to me. Oh my God, it was the it's not the worst day of my life, oh, but <laughs> it was one of the worst days. Like, I'm, um, I had an appointment at the U.S. Embassy, and guess what? I failed my interview. Greetings, peeps. Salut, salut. How na day? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to this channel. As you already know, here is Dr. JB yeah. and I'm Lela. It's really nice being here once more and we're doing what's that? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's try. Okay. Let's get started. Without wasting four of your time, if this is your first time on this channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss subsequent uploads. We will be doing more relationship videos on this channel. Okay? Sure, sure, you're not going to regret watching. Yeah, this is a couple I've been together for how many years? I don't know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> when did you Okay, meet? we met in 2010, 4th of September. Okay, that's how many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> If you know us or you've been following us up, you know it's 10 years. It's a decade since we met. Definitely. Yeah. We celebrated our 10 years anniversary of a couple together and as married couple six of dating, months. of knowing each other in a relationship and six months of marriage. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. What was your first opinion about me? <laughs> oh, my first opinion about Jay, my my first opinion about him, guys, was he is a nice guy. First, that was the first opinion. I just admired him when he we met, and he was introduced to me like, and vice versa, right? I admired. I was like, wow, he's cute, and <laughs> it's about looks. <laughs> it, yeah, the first opinion was how. He looks and he was a tall, cute guy, Slim very guy. innocent. He was yeah. very innocent, not like he is now. Okay, how and, am I, how am I now? <laughs> and he was very gentle. Okay, soft spoken. Mm, I'm still soft spoken though. See, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Gino. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next. <laughs> when did you know I was the one? <sighs> how to know he was the one it's really difficult it took me some time like i've never been in a relationship before and knowing he was the one like it took us time it's after about two years yeah it's after two years that i, I finally gave him <laughs> like i knew i could trust him and let me give a try i think he's the one and uh how long did it take for us to plan our wedding? <laughs> About planning our wedding, yeah, actually after the two years, our plans were just focused, first of all, with our education. We've always encouraged each other in that domain, so we knew our education comes first to make our parents proud and make us too proud, make each other proud. So we're very supportive in that domain. But talking about marriage, it's after school, after we have um, had our degrees, and now we could think of, do we really have a future together? Yeah. What about? Yeah, but then, so we cut it for, for at least for about seven years. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's after seven years. I started thinking about getting married. Yeah, okay. of courtship. Yeah. That marriage could come in between, like, when can we and stuff. How so, did I propose? Okay, he proposed to me online, like we're separated by long distance. Yeah. And you won't imagine the day he proposed to me. Oh my God, it was the it's not the worst day of my oh, life, my but <laughs> it was one of the worst days. Like, I'm, um, I had an appointment at the U.S. Embassy and. Guess what? I failed my interview. So what? I was so sad. I was really... And later that evening, that's when... 
talking with him like our routine calls, daily calls. When I got back home, he, the first person I got to was him. Only for me to see at the end of, during the call. Yeah. He went on his knees. I. <laughs> so that's what. Popped the question. Yeah, he popped the <laughs> the question like. I was shocked. Why would he choose this day? Why? <laughs> So I was just so he made my day, guys. Okay. Yeah. How many children did I always tell you I wanted before marriage? <laughs> before marriage, like you know, these are talks you should talk before you get in. Before marriage, he's always loved to have three kids. Now, and after marriage, he has a taste of one already. He just wishes that we have to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm for that. Yeah, like, actually, I'm thinking about <laughs> two kids, then maybe a retirement baby. If you are Camonia, you know what we say, like retirement baby, like maybe when you're, you're 45, 50. Uh, I'm not doing that <laughs> shit. 45, 50. I don't want to give birth uh, when I'm old. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, what's my worst habit? Your worst habit? Let him not get angry in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> he has very high temper yeah yeah so. yeah so it's a habit i really wish i could change uh, apart yeah. of that he's quick tempered what's my best habit <laughs> um your best habit i mentioned it before like what i saw in him it really he never it was real like He's so soft, he's soft spoken. That's what I love most about him. So after the anger, he knows how to to calm down the atmosphere and make things right. Okay. So he's a good keeper. So who <laughs> thank you. Who, who is who is a better cook? You. Nah, <laughs> I can cook actually. I can cook if I want to, and I I put in the effort. But she is the chef. Mm, like seriously, I'm the chef. You know how we say in the African culture, right? Uh, it is through the stomach that you get to you the get heart. A man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're listening, know what we're talking about. Okay, uh, what do we argue most about? What we argue most about? I don't seem to remember. Uh, what was our last argument about? <laughs> okay, our last argument was about me. <laughs> was about me and my mood swings. Like, I have mood disorders. Like, I think that's even what we argue most about. Okay. <laughs> it's one of them. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, when another person is not in a very good mood, yeah. and I'm a, yeah, and another one wants them to to be yeah yeah right. so sometimes yeah you just you just want them. yeah sometimes you just want to be at your corner and boom you get thank you okay mm. next question who is more affectionate he is really <laughs> yeah we yeah, he that, is. Mm, I like, is a... I, I like, I, I love it when he pampers me. I won't say I love it when we fight, and cause he does that. He knows how to make me keep me happy, and he does it better after a fight. <laughs> okay, what, so what, what is something you enjoy doing with me? What I enjoy doing with him, watching movies. Yeah, even though she can't watch a movie, that's <laughs> like seriously, like I'm the movie guy. I watch, I've watched thousands of movies, but I'm not sure she has watched a hundred movies. I'm not sure <laughs> because each time midway between the movie, she always sleeps, <laughs> unless it's romance and yeah, maybe yeah, love story. That's when I'm so alert. That's when she's so alert. If it's anything Game of Thrones, movie she's going time, to sleep. <laughs> it's our best time. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, who is the more romantic one? I am. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> okay. Who is the more funny one? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. If you don't know, then, then it's <laughs> yeah, me. The one. <laughs> because like Chasa Kamga said in one of his videos, there's always one guy in the family who thinks they are funny. Meanwhile, they are not. 
And if you don't know that person, then it's you. <laughs> you are not funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm not funny. <laughs> okay, uh, who is more outgoing? Like, yeah, he's the indoor type. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Can, I can I can stay for seventy two hours in the room. Like, you just keep food, <laughs> Wi Fi, internet. Good yeah, one. yeah. You make laptop, make... a smartphone. Just give him all he needs: his uh, gadget bathroom. and food. Yeah, I'm good. Then he's good for the <laughs> rest of. Netflix. What is the best gift I've ever gotten for you? A phone. <laughs> ah, like seriously, phone. Mm, get it. Smartphones. Okay. Mm. What is something I cannot live without? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> he can't live without his gadget. His phone without internet, he cannot yeah, live internet, without guys. internet. Shane, right? Yeah, <laughs> just give him his internet, internet and smartphone, laptop, his tablet, just all the gadget he needs to be <laughs> entertained, and all learn, and just give him his gadget and internet. That's it. Use one word to describe me, and what is my best physical trait? One word to describe you. <laughs> he's, he's loving. Hmm, loving guy. <laughs> it could be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his best physical trait for me are his lips. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Uh, I think we come to the came to the end of the video and. Uh, Thank you so much, Leila, for coming up for this one. You know, we're turning this channel into our channel relationships. We'll be coming up weekly if everything works well. We're working towards that. So, if this is your first time listening to us, make sure you smash that subscribe button, smash that like button if you like the video, smash the unlike if you didn't it like it. Like. Drop a comment, tell us of about course. your relationship. What more videos do you like to get from us yeah and suggest suggest, suggest the comment videos section. other like titles to and we're going to be us. considering that thank you so much if you watch right to the end comment champion so that we know you are a champion and thanks guys until Hope we come here away again next time. time stay safe bye 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 mm -hmm. oh, baby now let me warm you up baby please Love you much. Come on, come on.